themselves to account for what is often called the tyranny of distance. That is, to project military power in Asia, the United States must cross the largest ocean in the world. By contrast, China is located in the center of the action. And, as anyone who works in Washington understands, proximity to power is a power unto itself. Being so close to the battlefield also enables China to implement an anti-access slash area denial A2 -ad, strategy by using its territory to deploy large amounts of missiles, aircraft, surveillance systems and radar. In effect, these are unsinkable aircraft carriers. Other ways that US and Chinese defense budgets fail to capture the real balance of power in Asia are less well known. One factor that many observers overlook is personnel costs. Despite having a large U military, China's military spends far less than the United States on personnel. And, once personnel costs are taken into account, the gap between US and Chinese military spending is less than the raw budget numbers suggest. America rightly takes care of the men and women who serve in the armed services. The costs of doing so, however, are astronomical. According to the Pentagon's own estimates, nearly half of the entire defense budget is consumed by military and civilian personnel costs. Half of the fee 2015 budget would equal out to about $298.5 billion. In other words, the Pentagon spends more on personnel than any other country, including China, spends on its entire military. Indeed, the US military's personnel costs are more than the combined defense budgets of all other NATO members. China's military is less transparent, making it harder to accurately gauge how much it spends on personnel. However, most experts believe that personnel costs consume about one-third of the People's Liberation Army's PLA, budget. By that figure, China's military spent about $48.6 billion on personnel costs in 2015. The discrepancy in personnel costs between China and the United States is even greater when one considers them on a per-soldier basis. The PLA is estimated to have a total of 2.3 million people in active service, compared to just 1.4 million for the US armed services. That means China spends just over $21,000 per active duty member of their military. The comparable figure for the United States is more than $214,000. The impact this has on each country's respective military budget is staggering. When personnel costs are removed from the US side, military spending decreases from $597 billion to $298 billion. By comparison, China's military spending drops from $145.8 billion to $97.2 billion. In other words, when personnel costs are taken out of the equation, China's military spending goes from about a quarter of America's to nearly a third. Labor costs work in China's favor in other ways as well. For instance, the PLA's procurement costs are lowered by the fact that Chinese factory workers make less than a quarter of the wages of their American counterparts. Exchange rates are another subtle advantage that lowers China's military costs. Just as a Big Mac is nearly twice as expensive in America as it is in China, Beijing can purchase much more domestic weapon systems with the same amount of money as Washington. To be sure, as China grows richer some of these advantages will decline. Labor costs have been rising steadily in China over the past decade, and personnel costs for the Chinese military will rise accordingly. Still, personnel costs are not stagnate.